Hello and welcome to Take 5 with Sachs, five minutes of our 65 years of experience where we address important topics that impact your business and your life with our experts here at Sachs. My name is Todd Polinak and with me is my partner, Craig Winkipedia Cassano, Winky for short. And today we have our very own Adam Holzberg, who is a senior manager in the firm's a and practice with a focus expertise in the growing and emerging cannabis industry. Now he's gonna share with us some ideas of what to expect as the cannabis industry begins to develop both now and in the future. But before we go to the interview with Adam, I wanna ask Craig if he has some interesting items to share with us about cannabis. Winky? Hey, thanks Todd, I appreciate it. So before we turn it over to Adam, I wanted to do my thing and provide our listeners with a few interesting facts. To leave with a bit of history, the history of cannabis and usage by humans dates back to at least the third millennium BCE based on some written history and possibly even further based on some other physical evidence. In 1937, the U.S. passed the Marijuana Tax Act that prohibited the production of cannabis. In 1996, California became the first U.S. state to legalize medical cannabis in defiance of federal law. And a quick final fact. Data estimates that the U.S. cannabis market will reach $28 billion in sales by 2022. Based on recent data, the top three U.S. cannabis companies based on sales are Scott's miracle Grow, Cure Leaf, and Green Thumb Industries. There you have it. That's me winking at you. Hey, thanks, Craig. So, Adam, the floor is all yours. Take it away. All right. Thanks, Todd. Thanks, Craig. Um, so as Todd said, I'm a member of the uh, cannabis practice here at Sachs. I'm gonna give a quick background of what's going on in New Jersey. Um, so cannabis was recently legalized for recreational use in February, 2021. And now rules and regulations are coming out to set up the legal recreational market. There are six different classes of licenses available for operation. Uh, the cultivator, or also known as a grower, manufacturer, wholesaler, distributor, retailer, and delivery. And then there are three different kinds of licenses, standard, micro business, and conditional license. So what does all this actually mean and how can New Jersey residents take part in this new industry? For New Jersey residents, micro business and conditional license types are some of the best ways to enter this new market. A micro business license, they are only for New Jersey residents, and there are no caps on the number of these license types. While the operations for a micro business license are much smaller than the standard license, after a year of operation, you're allowed to convert to a standard license by completing the conversion application. This can provide a great, great way to get your foot into the door of the industry. The other license, conditional license, also has a key aspect which greatly benefits New Jersey residents. A conditional license does not have a requirement for cannabis operational experience um, during either the conditional license application or the conversion to a standard license or micro business license. As much of the experience is in the, on the West Coast or in other uh, East Coast states, this is a great way to get New Jersey residents into the industry without that extensive experience. Um, so with the license type and operational license in mind, what are the next steps? Applicants will need to act quickly to begin assembling their team. While the applications have not yet come out at the time of recording, once they do, they will be evaluated on a rolling basis. So it's important to have as much completed as possible before that point. Here at SACS, besides providing application support to applicants and consulting advice, we also have numerous relationships within the industry to connect you to in order to have the best team in place to complete the application and obtain a license. Obtaining a license is just one piece of the puzzle. As the cannabis industry comes with a lot of complexities, to its, to its dual legal status, it's important to have an advisor such as sex on your team. We can help navigate the unique regulatory requirements of the industry and help bridge the gap from startup to successful cannabis operator 
based on our experience within the cannabis industry. And with that, back to you, Todd. Thank you, Adam. So if you'd like to ask a question about today's topic or any topic, have a comment or would like to learn more about us, just send us an email at take5 at saxllp.com. Sax is committed to being our client's number one advisor by understanding their vision and providing solutions that exceed expectation to assure their success. Every day we strive to live our tagline, Sax, expect more. Thank you for taking five with Sachs and wishing you all an amazing and profitable day.